city. You know, I'm just going to quickly just mention, obviously, there's a lot going on right now in Palestine. Um, you know, in the news and stuff, they, you know, the, the, the other side, you can quote unquote say, is trying to wipe them off the map. And we believe that that's not fair. And in the city of Hamtramck, we double down on it and we made sure that we put them on the map as well. So that's why we are here today to give them their recognition. Uh, so we appreciate everyone. We appreciate as well as the council and the mayor. You know, because this did have to go through a proposal, which got approved. So I will be reading off the resolution uh, for you guys to uh, listen to. So again, this is the approval, the resolution of 2023-184, approving honorary naming of Holbrook Street between Buffalo Street and St. Auburn Street as Palestine Avenue. Whereas the mayor, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and give yourselves a round of applause. There you go. Whereas the mayor and city council acknowledge the profound impact of the recent ongoing events in Gaza, resulting in a loss of almost now over 40,000 people since October 7, 2023, comprising mostly of completely innocent women and children. And whereas the community wishes to express solidarity and compassion towards those affected by the tragedy, and whereas renaming a street can serve as a symbolic gesture of remembrance and support for the people of Gaza. Now therefore, be it resolved by the City of Council of the City of Hamtramck, Wayne County, Michigan, to approve the honorary naming of Holbrook Street between Buffalo and St. Albany Street as Palestine Avenue, that this renaming is indeed intended as a gesture of solidarity, remembrance, and compassion for the lives lost in Gaza, and is not intended to have any impact on official postal addresses or other legal designations. So go ahead and give the City Council and the City of Hamtramck Mayor a round of applause as well. And I'm going to go ahead and formally introduce the man behind the plan. Uh, shout out to council member Khalil Rafai. So give a round of applause to Khalil Rafai. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon all of you here today. I'm honored and humbled that I brought this resolution to council. And without my colleagues who voted for this council, we would not be here today. So I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart who uh, voted for this resolution. Also, I want to thank all of you here today, especially uh, city officials, community leaders, imams, pastors, who accepted uh, this invitation and showed up here today. That means a lot. That means all of us here, we do stand with Palestine. And that's why everybody left their jobs, their family members, and came here today. And that means a lot for the, you know, for the Palestinian people. Uh, the reason I did this, you know, the whole thing of what's going on in Palestine means a lot to me. And 100% means to uh, too many of you here today. Uh, we have Palestinian Americans who live in this city uh, who called me previously. Uh, what can we do as city officials in Hamtramck? And this is was one of them. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if they're here today, uh, but this is, means a lot. Again, I want to thank everybody. As we all know, uh, this thing killing innocent people, kids, elders, it didn't start from October 7th. This has been going on for decades. At least we could do and show our support for the Palestinian people here in Hamtramck, Wayne County, in Michigan, and all around the state and the world. It's this street. So all of us today and, and the generations after us couldn't remember Palestine. Because what's going on right now is Palestine it's sad. And you know, it's sadly that many government officials, you know, see what's going on today with all these deaths and deceased that are happening and mostly are Children, kids, infants, elders, women, they're not people that are armed, who are dying day and night. There are people that are no weapons at all in their hands. So it's sad. I wish that our cities, counties, and also our president to stand up against what's going on here in Palestine. Again, I want to thank all of you here today for showing up. That means a lot. And now I want to present our honorable mayor, Amr Ghalib. Good afternoon, everyone. So it wasn't an easy process to pass this resolution. I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank Councilman Rafai for introducing the resolution. But four members of the city council voted to withdraw the resolution from the agenda. And as I was able to, after a long discussion, to convince them to reconsider their votes. And then after a heated discussion, it was three to three, three with and three against, and I'm honored 
that I was the one who broke the tie to pass the citizenship. So thank you everyone for coming to join us today in our continuous efforts to stand with, in solidarity with the Palestinian people. This is just a symbolic, symbolic gesture to show our support and the community's support for a free Palestine. Hamtramck cannot stand neutral during moral conflicts, and we have our own definition of moral conflicts. We stand with peace and justice against oppression. We stand with humanity against brutality and barbarism. And we stand with the international law against occupation. We stand with the truth against lies and deception. And we stand with ceasefire against genocide. So we are honored in this city to be the first city to pass a, cease, a ceasefire resolution early in October. And then we passed the shift the money resolution to use the money that, we, that our government sent to fund wars to use it to fix our infrastructure in the United States. And now we are the first city, now we are the first city to pass another resolution to name a street Palestine Avenue after October 7, of course. So thank you so much everyone for joining us today. And I want to welcome all our guests to Amtramic. Many familiar faces, elected officials, community leaders, religious leaders. Thank you so much for coming, for joining us. Hamtramck will continue to be a welcoming city, very diverse city, very peaceful city. And we will continue to serve our people equally and with respect, with no discrimination or any preferential treatment. We are here as public servants, and we share no borders with the neighboring cities of Detroit and Dearborn, and I see so many guests, and Melvin Deal, we have people, guests from all these cities. We share the same demographics with those cities, and we welcome you to Hamtramck anytime. Thank you so much, and enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Mayor. Appreciate you. Just want to give a shout out to some of the city employees as well. I see the fire department, the police department here as well. You know, city workers, we appreciate you all for coming out as well. Uh, Dearborn Heights is too. We've got some elected officials from Dearborn Heights. So uh, we're going to start, you know, dishing off this mic to a one by one. Um, first off, is Senator Stephanie Chang here today? Is she here? Or there she has a representative from Senator Stephanie Chang from Michigan Senate. So thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, Stephanie wanted to be here today, but unfortunately she had to be in Lansing, so she sent me. And I'll keep this short. Um, you guys are all so amazing for being here. You didn't have to come, you didn't have to be here, but you did. You came together as a community, and we all think that you are so amazing. Stephanie thinks that you're amazing, I think you're amazing, and really, that's all there is to say. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. And by the way, while you're here, make sure you shop or you know, stop by local restaurants and enjoy the delicious food here in Hemtramck as well. Got to support the economy. Um, so next up, we have Deputy Esed Turf, Wayne County Executive. All right, he's in the building. So we have 43 distinct communities in Wayne County. And every community is known for something. And one thing that's beautiful about Hamtramck in my 21 years of working in Wayne County started off as a uh, patrol officer in the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. The beauty of Hamtramck has always touched my heart. And the reason it's touched my heart is because it's very welcoming. The multiple diversity of cultures that reside here, that practice here, that move here, that live here, is just a beautiful thing. So we have Poland Avenue, we have Bangladesh Avenue, we have Yemen Avenue, and today we celebrate Palestine Avenue. Yeah. On behalf of County Executive Warren Evans, uh, definitely this is a, a, a great day, a beautiful day. The weather's perfect for us. So we're, are we going to cut a ribbon, ribbon or are we going to pull the, pull, the, pull the flag down eventually? <laughs> pull down, okay. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you. 
All right, uh, next up. We have former councilman Naeem Chaudhry, former councilman for the city of Hamtramck. Naeem Chaudhry is in the building as well. Thank you, Naeem. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. It is the greatest day on this earth to be celebrating with you because this is the only city and this is the only state, I believe, they're first renaming a road called Palestine Road. Renaming from Holbrook to Palestine. I want to give a shout out to our councilman Khalid Rafai who brought forward this resolution. I immediately supported this because we don't want to be forgotten. We don't want to forgotten these Palestinians because they deserve to live on this earth. They deserve to live in their own land. They have been suffering decades over decades. And how long is going to continue? How long are we going to see this happening? Now, these days, I don't think anyone's going to be living anymore. This is called ethnic cleansing. They're going to wipe out the whole Palestinians. Eventually, if we don't do anything, they're going to clean out. Like they did in so many countries before. So I urge you to continuously communicate with the, our elected official, the world leaders, that we're not going to stand just watch them killing those innocent people and getting rid of the Palestinians. Everyone, everyone on this earth deserves to live freely and peacefully. Palestinian is no difference. They deserve to be in their country, in their land, and, and, and live and breathe and have a family. Just like we have a family here. I, I won't take too much of your time because today is not a day to express all these things. But thank you so much to our elected official and administration to putting this together. And thank you so much for being here. God bless you, God bless the United States, and God bless everybody. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Next up we have City of Hamtramck Chairman Councilman Hassan Ahmed. Is Councilman Hassan in the building right now? If he is, please step up forward. Okay, because we got City of Hamtramck. Okay, City of Dearborn Heights. Hassan Ahmed, I'm sorry. City of Dearborn Heights. No? All right. Okay, City of Dearborn Heights, Councilman Hassan Saab. He's not here as well. All right, City of Melvindale, we got Suleiman Abu Ali. Suleiman Abu Ali is in the building. All right, give him a round of applause. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. Um, I want to thank Khalil for the invitation. I want to give you guys uh, all the credit for such a, a decision, and it takes a lot of courage. Um, it's the least we could do for the people of Gaza and Palestine. And, uh, you know, enough has been said, I think. Well, not enough, but I don't want to repeat the same thing that everyone that spoke already uh, said, but this is the least we could do for them. And I want to make sure that we all do our very best to make our voices heard to do everything that we possibly can to stand with those people that are starving and dying on a daily basis. And um, again, this is an honor, and uh, I want to thank you guys again. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. All right, next up we got uh, United States Senate candidate Nasser Beydoun. Give a round of applause to U.S. Senate candidate Nasser Beydoun. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I want to thank Mayor Ghalib and the City Council of uh, Hamtramck for doing what you're doing. You have always been a city that's been the first. The first in diversity, the first in welcoming people, and the first in supporting the people of Yemen and supporting the people of Bangladesh, supporting the people of Palestine. Uh, it's an honor to stand before you, but, you know, naming streets and everything that we're doing and calling our congressmen and our senators who are not listening to us and trying to get our senile president to call for a ceasefire, a permanent ceasefire, has fallen on deaf ears. America right now is complicit and actively engaged in a genocide. 
We have to remember that. Our tax dollars are going to fund and kill women and children in Gaza. It's our money. It's time that our elected officials understand that we will not stand for that anymore. And I want you to know that before we end the occupation of Palestine, we have to end the occupation of Congress. And we need to elect people who are gonna truly represent us, not hide from us, when we call them and ask them to call for a ceasefire. And, and we have to keep doing what we're doing. We have to keep marching. We have to keep protesting. We have to keep organizing because we cannot let the death of 40,000 innocent men, women, and children go unanswered in America. That's right. So I ask you to Name streets, name buildings, name everything you can. Continue to, but most important thing, we need to vote. And we need to elect those that support us, and we need to punish those who are standing with genocide. Thank you very much. All right, sorry about that. Had to get through the pile right there. Uh, so with that said, next up, we have the president of Iman Islamic Complex, everybody's Ammu, Sheikh Saleh al -Gihim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala mu'allim al-umma Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa mu'ala. الحقيقة أنا أتكلم في اللغة العربية لأن الإنجليزي أتكلم كفاية فاسمحوا لي باسمي وباسم زملائي في مدينة همشرائك همشرامك أن نشكر المير والسيتي كانسل والعاملين في مدينة همشرامك البوليس والفاير والمحامي وكل من يعمل في مدينة همشرامك نشكركم جميعا على هذه المساعدة وعلى هذا القلب الطيب المبارك دمتم في رعاية الله وحفظه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Before I call out the next name, just, I want you guys to really like take a grasp of this moment right here because this is very, this is a historic moment for the city of Hamtramck, for the state of Michigan, for the Palestinian people, for the Arab people worldwide. So you know, look around. You see a lot of, like I said, elected officials, I know community members. You know, this is a historic moment, so make sure you take grasp of it. I see a lot of young kids as well. This is history being made. And I'm sure, you know, Councilman Khalid Fa'i would say, and the rest of the council and the mayor would say, like, it's for the youth, you know, it's for them so that they can always remember this forever. So, with that said, uh, next up we have Palestinian American Ahmed Hassan. Ahmed Hassan, thank you so much for being here today. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I want to I wanna first. Uh, Thank uh, Khalil Rafai, Brother Councilman Khalil Rafai, and City Council and the Mayor for this uh, humanitarian move towards justice, uh, naming the street in Palestine. Hamtramck, uh, as uh, Asa Torfi said, is, uh, is this unique fabric woven with so many backgrounds. And I'm honored to be part of this community, a business community in Hamtramck. Um, I will say, uh, you hear the question, well, what is naming a street in Hamtramck going to make a difference in uh, the uh, struggle in Gaza? And I will say if it's these children in the streets of Gaza recognizing that their fellow Americans in Hamtramck see them and see the injustice done, then that is a good enough purpose for this event today. Um, so I want to commend you on this, uh, Mother Khalil and everybody in the city of Hamtramck. And I just want to say as we chant in our marches, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice um, everywhere. So this is another step forward in recognizing that. And thank you all for coming. All right, and last but certainly not least, the Imam at Islamic Center of Detroit, the Imam who does not like pineapples on his pizza. I'm sure he's heard. You guys have heard that joke before, especially him. With that said, Imam Imran Salha, appreciate you. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to hear a response. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. MashaAllah. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Peace be upon you all. And may God bless this effort. And may God bless the mayor, Dr. Ghalib. And may God bless our beloved brother, Khalil Rifai. And may God bless every single individual who took part in inspiring this effort. My dear brothers and sisters in humanity, as Muslims and believers in God, we believe that God's greatest gift to humanity is the gift of the word. The word is what we use to communicate. The word is what we use to promote truth. The word can be used to promote evil. But as representatives of God, we always utilize the word to promote truth. And this word is powerful. Renaming things is powerful. In the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he heard that there was a valley named Shi'bu Dalala, the valley of darkness. The Arabs named it the valley of darkness. They were a dramatic people, subhanAllah. And the Prophet وسلم, said, Bal hiya hidayah. It is the valley of guidance. When the Prophet وسلم, was in Medina, the original name of Medina was Yathrib. In Arabic, the word Yathrib means to decay, subhanAllah. And the Prophet وسلم, said, Bal hiya tayba. It is tayba. It is a fertile, delightful land, a welcoming land, subhanAllah. And it was incumbent upon every single individual to refer to it as tayba or as al madinatul munawwara. There is power to renaming things. What is significance is there to Holbrook? There's nothing special about Holbrook, but there is something special about Palestine Avenue. And when we say Palestine Avenue, we are saying and we are acting. We are acting to show that Michigan is the avenue to Palestine. Over 100,000 voters in Michigan voted uncommitted in order to display their disapproval with the actions of the Biden administration. As my beloved brother Dr. Ghalib mentioned, Hamtramck was one of the first cities to pass a ceasefire resolution. And then Detroit was, was afterwards later on. And many other city councils in Michigan. Michigan is the avenue to Palestine, inshallah. And we will show in history that whatever we could do within our reach, and I leave you with this. I remember, wallahi, attending a Palestine protest, and they were all saying together, chanting, and we will do it right now. Palestine, Palestine, together. Palestine, Palestine. Palestine. And I saw a Palestinian woman, may Allah be with the Palestinian woman, the Muslim, Christian, and Jewish woman who are supporting the cause of justice, say Ameen, SubhanAllah. And I saw a Palestinian Muslim woman carrying her child, and she was looking at her child, and she was saying, Palestine, Palestine, teaching their child the name, because the name creates history. All the Algerians had, after 132 years of occupation from the French, was the the word, the power of the word. Believe in this. This street will inspire a young youth to look into Palestine, to study Palestine, to promote Palestine, and to always stand by Palestine. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Free, free Palestine. 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 All right. Uh, well. That wasn't the last speaker. I was just kidding. Uh, the next speaker is uh, someone that has been very proactive uh, in a lot of the protests that's been happening around every community. You know, you see her, uh, you know, on the news. You see her leading protests. So, you know, that's the least we can have her is definitely have her speaking. Uh, by the way, just throwing it out there. Tomorrow we have the Hamtramck versus Dearborn charity basketball game. All proceeds will be going to Palestine and Yemen. It's going to be held right here in Hamtramck as well. And you'll be seeing. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Give it a round of applause. That's important too. Yeah. Took a lot of organizing. So come on out, please, and thank you. But with that said, uh, you'll be seeing her speaking tomorrow as well at the game. But she's going to give us a few words today. And that's Lexi Zaydan. So go ahead and give it a round of applause to Lexi. Yeah. Thank you, Omar. Um, did not plan to say words today, but honored to be here, honored to be a part of this historic moment. And I think my biggest headline here is that our tax dollars, 95 billion have been given um, as aid to Israel, who is currently uh, dropping bombs and decimating not only homes and land, but actual lives. 
And I think this historic moment shows that our tax dollars can in fact get redistributed to our communities to do the right thing. And it shows Joe Biden that our tax dollars and our American people do not all stand with him both aiding and abetting in the ongoing genocide that's happening in Gaza right now. And as, as several people have said, we must continue to do everything that we can to let Joe Biden and his administration know that we are not on the side of genocide. 80% of Democrats have asked for an immediate and permanent ceasefire and only 4% of Congress has responded to this. When you have a stark difference between what your people are asking and what you're supporting, it's time that we start to organize. And this is just one effort. We name streets, we rally behind protest votes, and we start to work collectively as a community together. Because this isn't a situation in which our community suffers just to advance another community. It's either we all suffer together or we all move forward together. And this diverse group shows that this is a movement where we're all collectively deciding to move forward together. And so I just want to thank the efforts of the council of Mayor Ghaleb and everything that Hamtramck has done, not only being the first to unanimously pass a ceasefire resolution as a city, but also renaming Palestine Avenue. It continues to work in opposition of what Joe Biden and his administration is doing, and it shows again that the people of America are not on the side of genocide. Thank you. Thank you, Lexi. With that said, it's that time that we've all been waiting for, which is the unveiling of the Palestine Avenue. So please, if you can, can we just gather around the corner here as best as we can? Try not to get in the street, obviously. We don't want anybody getting hit by a car or anything. Be careful, Max. We still want you, Max. We still need you. All right, so please gather around uh, the sign right here, if you can, so that we can do the unveiling of Palestine Avenue. بالروح بالدم نفديك يا فلسطين بالروح بالدم نفديك يا فلسطين بالروح بالدم نفديك يا فلسطين Thank you all for coming out today. We appreciate you. Uh, like I said, a bunch of local restaurants available here in Hemchaima for you to check out, especially right before Ramadan. They will not be open, most of them, during this time, so go check them out. And Ramadan Mubarak to all that celebrate. And remember, charity game tomorrow. Charity game tomorrow at Hemchaima High School. Hemchaima versus Dearborn. Hemchaima versus Dearborn. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.